Republican side of the aisle next. We're going to return down south to Georgia. Republican Congressman, member of the House Infrastructure Committee, Rob Woodall. Nice to see you, sir. Appreciate you being with us. Uh, you listened to the Congresswoman before you and uh, others on the Democratic side. It, Democrats seem to think that the constitutional crisis train and then possibly the impeachment push is politically good for them. Is it also politically good for Republicans to have this as something to run against? Leland, you're exactly right. They think it's good for them politically. I think it's bad for America functionally. Uh, the Democrats told me we couldn't do these investigations in Congress. We needed an independent uh, uh, investigation, which we did with Bob Mueller, a, a, a man that we chose in a bipartisan yeah, way. But, but Congressman, Repu the Republicans didn't have any problem doing this when President Obama was in office. Republicans were the ones who held Eric Holder in contempt. And now they want. Now the Democrats want to hold Bill Barr in contempt. And suddenly, oh well, boy, you, you just can't do that to an attorney general. What's the difference? Well, to, to be fair, Attorney Barr said, I'm happy to ask you, answer your questions, Mr. Chairman, but if you're embarrassed to ask your questions and you've got to farm them out to your staff, uh, I think you ought to ask those questions yourself. Uh, this isn't an attorney general who's dodging responsibility. He spent six hours with the United States Senate, and he'll do the same thing with the United States House. But just as you said in your lead-in, folks have decided on the Democratic side of the aisle this is a good political issue for them. Hmm. Bad for America, good for Democratic politics. What do you make of the fact that the president continues talking about this? This is infrastructure week. Congress is going to be in session. It's time to talk about things, conceivably get things done for the American people in Iowa and Georgia. They don't really care so much about the Mueller report. They care about broken bridges and potholes in their roads. The list goes on. It doesn't seem like Congress is spending much time doing about that, and the president keeps tweeting about it. Is, is that really where you want the president's focus? Well, I want the Congress's focus on infrastructure, undoubtedly. I've got a Democratic yeah, chairman. But, 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 okay, but hold on. Doesn't, doesn't the president drive so much of the conversation that if he was talking only about infrastructure, Congress might be a little more forced to talk about infrastructure? Right. Well, well, to be fair, he invited uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer to the White House earlier this year. They said, no, we won't Good come point. and talk about solutions. He invited them last week to come, and they said, yes, we will come and talk about infrastructure. They had a productive discussion. They're coming back in two weeks to talk again. We are having yeah. presidential leadership on this issue, and now we need congressional leadership and well, focus on this issue, too. The one thing that uh, leadership in Washington always seems to agree on, no matter which party is in power, is spending uh, more money. And we have a look at uh, how much the federal government has been spending uh, over the past couple of years. It continues to go up and up, as does the deficits, as does the national debt. Now at $22 trillion, the highest it has ever been. Uh, is it time for Republicans to start talking about something other than spending money and return to fiscal conservatism? Well, the only reason the deficit is as low as it is is because Republicans were able to put those budget caps in place in 2011, the best vote I've taken since I've been in Congress. Uh, but well, yes, yeah, but, the president... But, oh, 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 come on, Congressman. I mean, you guys haven't been able to reform oh, yeah. Social Security. You haven't been able to reform Medicare. You haven't been able to cut down on domestic spending. Uh, really, you, can, you can't say that Republicans have been really all that tight with the purse these days. Oh, now don't, don't take me as, as being satisfied with where we are. I'm not. There's much more to do. But you've not seen a Congress in my lifetime take on Medicare <laughs> the way my colleagues and Paul Ryan uh, took on premium support. Now, we got beat on that uh, issue. Yeah. We couldn't get a Democratic Senate to go along or a Democratic president. But we took on the issue for the first time in a generation. And, and I'm proud of that. I hope we can build on that. Okay, but it, it, the contrapositive of that would be saying we're not going to keep spending money that we don't have until we get some uh, work on those issues that you just brought up. You, you and your colleagues, uh, Paul Ryan, while he was speaker, didn't say that, didn't do those things. Well, to be fair to Paul, uh, we're spending the lowest amount of discretionary spending uh, that we've spent in three generations. Uh, Republicans in Congress presided on the only time in American history we spent less one year to the next and then to the next. So, yes, there's some good stories to tell, but there's more to do. Watch the infrastructure bill, Leland. President Trump and Nancy Pelosi have promised $2 trillion in new spending. I'm telling you today that I want to pay for it. The Democratic chairman of the Transportation Committee wants to pay right. for it. So, you want to pay for it. Uh, I think we're going to get that done. All right. The way to pay for it is a gas tax, so you don't mind that? 
they, well, I don't think a gas tax is the way to pay for, for anything. Uh, I drive okay. electric vehicles. I'm not paying the gas tax. The gas tax was a 20th century policy. <laughs> okay. We've got to have a 21st century policy. All right. Well, uh, we're running out of time. Otherwise, we'd talk about it. Appreciate you coming in on Mother's Day, sir. It was good to see you. Uh, my best to you and yours. Thanks, Leland. All right. Good to see you, sir.